What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and the last week has been an absolute disaster for Disney and for Lucasfilm in the aftermath of firing Gina Carano for her political opinions. Of that there can be no doubt because Gina Carano is now exposing Lucasfilm, putting them on blast for the double standard that they displayed when they fired her but let so many other people speak out the way that they do for trying to label her and lie about her on the way out. It is disgusting and and people are recognizing this. People are seeing that Lucasfilm and Disney are garbage companies. And they only accept one form of thought. A far left echo chamber. And if you step out of that in any way, shape, or form, you are done. You are targeted and they will get you out of there. That is what everyone is seeing. And Gina Carano continues to speak out about it. The interview that she did with Ben Shapiro that so many people have been talking about today. So clearly exposes the double standard that we have all been talking about it. But now we hear it straight from her. How it felt to be the one that was singled out for her opinions while everyone else was free to speak exactly what they thought, even if it offended, oh, I don't know, literally half of the American population. If you call half the American population Nazis, that's fine. But if you make any sort of references at all to what happened, you know, in 1930s and 40s Germany, well, that's abhorrent unacceptable and you will be fired here's an article from bounty in the comics gina carano calls out disney and lucasfilm labels them bullies and reveals their toxic work environment now shout out bounty in the comics a lot of this is just kind of the lead up and a lot of the things that we know have happened i do think one thing is very interesting and my friend steve kenobi over on twitter pointed out a pretty clear hypocrisy in what we have going on in the comparisons between what Gino Carano said and what, you know, every other person thinks is fine and normal comparisons. We know what she was maligned for. This post, because history is edited, most people don't realize that to get up to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? And what did people say after she reposted this on her Instagram story? People said, how dare you? How dare you say that it was a slippery slope that led to this? How dare you say that it was a process that led to people hating each other and wanting to dehumanize each other? It's almost like some other people agree with them. Like maybe the Auschwitz Memorial. Look at this. Steve Kenobi tweeted this. Oh, look, the same thing Gina Carano said. I guess the Auschwitz Memorial needs to get the white supremacy label and get canceled now too. Wouldn't want double standards and hypocrisy after all. Look at what they tweeted in November of 2018. When we look at Auschwitz, we see the end of the process. It's important to remember the Holocaust actually did not start from gas chambers. This hatred gradually developed from words, stereotypes, and prejudice through legal exclusion, dehumanization, and escalating violence. Strange. It's almost like that's exactly what the, the point that Gina Carano was trying to make. These people are absolute ridiculous hypocrites. But a lot of this goes into some of the things that she said in the interview. And I wanted to play a portion of it because we've been talking about the hypocrisy of Disney. We've been talking about all these things. I want you to hear it straight from her mouth what it felt like, right? What it felt like to be on the end of this double standard. Now, Ben Shapiro is going to lead up to this and set all of this up, how this all went down. Here you go. And that's why you should be careful about how you treat your neighbor. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the Jewish community is, I think, properly very sensitive about Holocaust comparisons. And so, uh, you know, I myself on my show said that we have to be careful about when we invoke the Holocaust. But here's the thing. Disney Plus and Lucasfilm don't care how you invoke the Holocaust if you happen to be of a different political persuasion. No. I pointed out on Twitter right away as soon as this broke that Pedro Pascal, who was your co-star in The Mandalorian, the lead in that show, that, that Pedro Pascal had put out a Holocaust meme in 2018 in which he not only got it, the facts wrong. He actually posted a picture from not the American border in 2018 and called it America 2018. He then compared the treatment of migrant children in 2018 to victims of the Holocaust in 1941, which is absolutely absurd on every level. Exactly. And that is something we have been calling out. We have been calling out these double standards for the people that do work at Lucasfilm, that they protect, that they do not fire. People like Pedro Pascal, when he does things like this, exactly what Ben Shapiro was saying. Germany, 1944. America, 2018. Again, not from the American border, not from 2018. In fact, it was from Palestinian children wait to receive donated food at a soup kitchen in 2010. 
That's what this is from. Uh, just once again, highlighting the ignorance of people like Pedro Pascal. But let's continue to hear what Gina says. And of course, Disney Plus and Lucasfilm had no problem with that whatsoever. They never said anything about it. They never responded to the comparison. They never said that it was, it was anti-Jewish or anti-Semitic to, to make that comparison in any way. There was pretty obviously a double standard at play here. Oh, and there has been. I mean, they've been all over me and they've been watching me like a hawk. And I'm, I'm watching, you know, other people on the same production, you know, and they can say everything they want. And, um, and that's where I had a, a problem. I had a problem because I didn't want to, I wasn't going along with the narrative. Um, I had a problem because I wasn't going along with the narrative. That is why they targeted her. That is why they fired her because she would not go along with the narrative. Everyone else could say anything they wanted except her because maybe her viewpoint was didn't align with, again, the far left echo chamber that Lucasfilm and Disney want to perpetuate. We heard, we heard PR people come out and say that they have their people keep silent about anything that could be considered right wing. They want them to perpetuate left wing talking points to make the public happy. That is what PR representatives have came out and said about this situation. Uh, but I did just, I wanted to, have you listened to this to let you understand the type of soul that Gina Carano is when she talks about Pedro Pascal. I'm not going to hold back when it comes to fucking Pedro, but I also don't work with the guy or really know him. I just see him from afar. She works with him. She could throw him under the bus after what Ben Shapiro laid out there. What does she say? And, and uh, you know what? <laughs> I adore Pedro. I adore him. I know he said and done some hopeful things. I don't think that posting anybody's number on social media is okay. But I know that, you know, he thinks a lot of the stuff that I post, you know, like, but there's so much love there still, you know? Um, and we had agreement <laughs> after we realized we were a little bit politically different. Hmm. Um, we had an agreement that first and foremost, you're a human being and you're my friend first. Um, and you know, the two sides that, you know, were trying to like drag us apart because we're both passionate. And, you know, and that's what's been really crazy is like, you see these people over here being so passionate. You see people over here being so passionate. And I, I love that we're, we're just both passionate, you know? Um, and we just, we think, we think a little bit differently, I think, through our different experiences. So I, I know that, you know, I know that we both have misstepped on our tweets, you know, um, we're not perfect, we're human beings. So in an opportunity that she could say, yeah, look, look, look at what they're letting him get away with. How dare they? Um, she decides to take the high road and say, listen, I work with this guy. Uh, we don't think alike, but that's fine. And guess what? That's normal. If you work in an office, if you work in any sort of environment where there are multiple people, there are going to be people who have political disagreements. That's the way the real world works. And I think that's what the, the Twitter echo chamber doesn't understand, that this is normal for people to have different opinions. And when you do work together, you have a common goal. You know, those things are ignored. You find the things that you do have in common when you have to work and interact with someone like this. And they do that just fine. Uh, so I did want to play that, even though that doesn't really go to like the toxic environment that I'm really talking about, these double standards. I just think that shows the type of person Gina Carano is, which is very important to this entire thing. Uh, and of course, I didn't want to let anyone forget. Of course, this is when Steph shared that Pedro Pascal uh, tweet where he compared half of America to Nazis, right? These are the types of double standards that we are talking about that Gina Carano likely saw there and was frustrated. That's what we have been frustrated with as well because at the end of the day, we're not asking for Lucasfilm to be exactly backwards from the way it is, just have a right-wing echo chamber. No, all we want is for everybody to be able to speak their minds for a little bit of balance. That's all that anyone is really asking for. But I did also want to talk about real quick. I saw an article. Uh, I don't talk about a lot of stuff from Pirates and Princesses anymore. But I did see something that I thought was interesting regarding WandaVision and the slight drop off that WandaVision has had. After a massive reveal for WandaVision Episode 5, right after that is when Gina Carano took over and dominated the news. 
Uh, Gina Carano has dampened people's excitement for WandaVision. You look at some of these trends. Look at that Luke Skywalker moment with the Mandalorian right there. But now look at Gina Carano shooting up ahead, more searched than WandaVision. Uh, and now, obviously, you know, she's falling off a little bit. It's going to ramp back up with the full release of this interview. But you can definitely see that after the high, you know, WandaVision should really be crescendoing right now, just like we saw with the Mandalorian. But instead, it's dropped off. Uh, Disney Plus has had some bad press. Disney and Lucasfilm have really been in the news because of this Gina Carano stuff. It has rocked the entertainment industry, what Gina Carano has done. And she's not going to stop. I cannot wait till we see the mass media's response to this interview. They are going to go after her, but we are going to be here to uh, call them out for their BS. It's already started. We're going to talk about it. We are not going to let them smear her even more than they have already tried to do. What do you think about all this? I want to hear from you in the comments below, especially about hearing from Gina what it was like to be a victim of those double standards at Disney and Lucasfilm. Let me know. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.